Hello everyone. Welcome to the episode number 61 of Q&A series with Suresh GP. Today, we are going to talk about an important topic of what should be the BRM goals for your BRM practice. Assuming that you already have a BRM function and you focus on building a set of goals for your team, let's talk about how we can make this more useful. Now, to start with, I want to break it down into five key goals. Number one, exploring. Now, exploring is all about performing a scanning of what's happening in your respective organizations, both your internal and external environment, how it is being structured, so that we know what will work and what would not work. So the context of the organization is so important to understand. It is also important to understand the business priorities and pain points. It also helps you to explore the knowledge within the IT and the business partners. So if you are a BRM, focus certain amount of time on an activity called exploring. And exploring is a very important part of understanding how your systems, process, people and culture operates today in a working environment. The second aspect of the goal that you need to focus is on demand shaping. As we have talked about in the previous episode, as a business relationship manager, you are not just focusing on demand management, which is typically executing what has been dictated by your business partners, but you are trying to make that leap ahead to advocate the business partners on what aspects to focus on. So as part of demand shaping, it improves the review and governance around prioritization and awareness of incoming requests. We should be in a position to start saying no to certain requests because you know that, that some of the requests do not deliver business value. So you try to make an attempt towards playing at a strategic level where you think and act that would benefit your respective organizations. We also need to look at different options today with technology that will enable business to have substantial value in terms of productivity improvement, in terms of cost optimization, in terms of value to market. So your thought process from a demand shaping perspective is towards innovation. It's trying to look at different alternatives and enabling your business partners to be adequately equipped to see the value of it. The third one that you should do is servicing. A lot of these projects, programs that are on flight finally gets delivered and moves into production. So when we try to focus on support services, it's very important to focus on a capability building exercise. So what is the satisfaction level with respect to your consumers, with respect to your stakeholders, business partners? What kind of um, partner ecosystem that we need to deal with? So it could be on service level agreements, it could be contractual obligations, how can you work closely with your partner ecosystem and build a good uh, rapport so that we are not doing this in silo, we are doing this together. The fourth aspect that we need to focus is on value realization. Remember, to focus on value much early in the life cycle will put you into a pivotal stand because you are focusing on strategic value when you talk with your business partners from the beginning till the end. So sometimes you should also help your business partners to define the business value and benefit realization plan. Number three, it is also to be focusing and measuring on value being delivered, ensuring that value is measured, communicated and optimized throughout the life cycle. Finally, the most important goal of a business relationship manager is around insight and relationship building. So when I mean insight and relationship building, particularly in a hybrid world today, you need to work with an option to communicate at regular intervals to understand the big picture view, 
depending on the projects and program being executed, constantly communicate value, but also spend that one-on-one -on -one conversations to understand what is going around with your business partner ecosystem. Remember, the landscape of technology and business is changing so rapidly. So keeping an eye and being open and receptive to some of those internal aspects, internal changes is so vital for you to deliver business value. So overall, the aspects of understanding, exploring, demand shaping, servicing, value realization, and insight and relationship building are five key goals when you set up your BRM practice. I hope you will go ahead and implement these goals within the respective BRM practice and see how it helps you and your organization succeed in the journey. I hope that this episode on the BRM goals for your BRM practice is very clear. I look forward to seeing you in our next episode of Q&A series with Suresh GP. Until then, keep watching and post your comments on other questions you would like me to ask in the future episodes. Thank you very much.